Hey friends. Okay, are you ready for reading? Pick a candy, any candy. Which color candy did you choose? No matter which one you choose, you're gonna get a reading. If you chose this one, this is the first reading that I'm gonna do for you. Okay, first of all, your angels are saying you might even have some psychic abilities, but you are extremely clairvoyant. It's like what you see within your your mind's eye, like your third eye. It it can actually help you with your 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 life. Um, let's see what Okay, interesting. Okay, so what your angels have been, sh okay. They're showing that you have had some self-imposed restrictions. This means that you have been unwilling to see the truth about a situation and it's not because you don't wanna see the truth, but it's because there's like this fear of seeing the truth. So there's just kind of like ignoring it for now until the truth kind of shouts itself, right? So there is an emotional choice that needs to be made when it comes to a relationship connection because the angels are sensing that there has been a lot of petty conflict, okay? There's just been a lot of bickering just energy of being annoyed with one another what your angels are saying is it's important to have patience because there is going to be steady progress with what is ahead for you okay i'm seeing that you're really going to do what you can to put in as much effort as you can and if you don't see the return that you truly desire i'm seeing you making a shift in your life and i see this shift you bringing in a new beginning into your life especially surrounding um like a career option, like like kind of veering off a little bit off of what you thought you were going to do. Um, and also when it comes to love as well, specifically love more than the, the money situation, but there's definitely going to be a change of work is what your angels are mentioning. So it's like a lot of change, but when it happens, you are going to feel very, very free spirited. Let's see. Okay, so you also have a message that's coming forward and it's definitely going to feel like a surprise and whatever this message is, it's like going to cause you to have to choose between a current love or a new love, right? So it's like there's a rival kind of type energy that is kind of trying to step their foot and be like, hey, well, I like you too. Um... Even if they know that you have somebody else, it's like this person is still interested of just letting you know how they feel, not actually taking the next step until there is like, like the truth of you being able to see the truth of then making a decision. Then I'm sensing like, there's going to be some kind of like after mental clarity, there's going to be some kind of a breakthrough for you in love. This is going to help you move on from what doesn't serve you, especially surrounding people who make you feel like you like who make you feel out of alignment with where you are in your own life with where you've been. Like if something just excites you for a little bit in the time being, like okay, but let that be a learning moment because your angels are saying that like there needs to be let a learning moment here with letting go of trying to think that what you have isn't good enough because when there's that mindset then that's when there causes more petty conflict and more bickering so just know that where you are with your person your angels are saying there is going to be some kind of a reconciliation that comes together after a learning moment okay but when it comes to um, your mindset and what you're thinking about, you are manifesting this energy into your life. So you're definitely going to have different surprises that pop up, but use your discernment with these surprises, whether or not they're good for you or whether or not they're bad for you. And if you chose the green candy, this reading is going to be for you. Okay. Here we go. I'm getting called to actually use another deck here what do you need to know okay oh geez 
there is going to be action towards a text message that comes your way. Action towards a text message that comes your way. This is actually gonna bring you some temptation. What is this temptation situation? Your angels are actually saying that this is a gift in your life, okay? Let's see, flip these cards over. Okay, this is a gift in your life. There is earth sign energy here as being significant. So that's Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. There's this energy of wanting to keep this as a priority. Let me just put that in the line. Um, this message could also have to do with money as well. Girls, be nice to each other. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm actually seeing a situation surrounding family. Two little shoes and the birth of a new life. So some kind of a fertility situation that takes place and water sign energy as being significant. So that's Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I'm seeing whoever this energy is, they are going to be coming back. And what about this individual? Okay, they are going, oh my goodness gracious. This is a really complicated situation. Because when it comes to this water sign energy and find or, or this water sign energy and this like pregnancy situation, angels are showing a betrayal situation. So there's a lot of triggering thoughts with this whole entire thing. But your angels are saying there's a need to have courage to move forward in change because there's excitement surrounding new love. Let's see. And this new love your angels are saying is going to directly divinely guide you towards your dreams, okay? And part of it is the honesty that you're desiring, the loyalty that you're desiring, the passion that you're truthfully desiring. So know that there is going to be an offer that comes for you. It's going to be very, very unexpected, but this is going to be some kind of a competition situation. I'm sensing this individual is watching you over social media. Let's see. So whatever that earth sign energy is, there's a gift coming in. Let's see. Oh, interesting. Oh, I dropped some, I dropped all of my cards. Every last one of them. Okay. So angels are showing a karmic partner energy. Who is this karmic partner energy? It could honestly have to do with that water sign. Who is the karmic partner energy? Yeah. So it's legitimately choosing between an, a path of just like physical intimacy, being confused by that, or choosing a different path, learning the lesson and going the higher route. Because if there's this betrayal situation that happens that's when that pregnancy situation takes place that's when that unexpected news comes in so it's like what is it that you are going to to decide next are you going to decide to take that lustful temptation or are you going to take the higher path for yourself and if you're wondering which path you're going to take let's see your angels are saying that there's actually going to be somebody that has a lot to say that's going to help lead you to the desire that you need to bring in a positive karmic balance. You're going to get the clarity that you need so you don't have to worry. And I'm actually seeing you bringing in a successful foundation when it comes to marriage and forever commitment within your life. So when it comes to trying to like control this situation for yourself, you don't necessarily have to control it, but take a step back, especially from what doesn't serve you anymore. They're also mentioning a vacation is really significant for you especially to bring in healing um let's see when it comes to a life partner individual i'm seeing a lot of affection and there's fire sign energy as being significant so that's sagittarius aries or leo there's definitely a third party energy in the middle here making it very very confusing um yeah but the decision is up to you that's for sure are you going to take the new route or are you going to take the, the 
the temptation type route. If you would like to book a reading with me or purchase one of my tarot decks, you can go to my website, chelseamgomez.com, and this one is my series one. I love you guys, and if you would like to um, donate to the pet rescue in Uganda, all you have to do is click on the link below. All they really need is help paying for food and for milk and for their water um, because they cannot get fresh water. They have to pay for the fresh water. Um, but yeah. I love you guys so incredibly, incredibly much. You can go to my link tree in my Instagram or my link tree in my TikTok and just click it there and it'll be like right at the top. It'll be the first one. Um, but I just want to thank you guys for everything that you've done. They were able to get two bags of food today and this is going to be able to stock them up for about the next seven days days but they are getting more animals so now they have cats there so they have to also get some cat food too um, but he's doing whatever he can to save these animals because it rains a lot too and when it rains they're cold they're outside and not just like they're cold it's more like they're uncomfortable because it is warmer there it's, it's definitely a lot warmer there um but yeah, I just want to thank you guys like for literally changing the world. And I, I'm going to keep posting videos. They're probably going to be shorts um, about, you know, all the information. 